score there, 2.14 by Vantour. And uh, that really has laid it down now to see what the rest of the field have got. They're really going to have to try hard to stop him now. Whitman up to third place. Bonas drops to fourth. De Costa was the man trying to squeeze through at Lisboa before. But here comes Bonas again talking to squeezing through and does just that. Well, that was a nice move. It was a very late lunch, wasn't it? But uh, <laughs> certainly Whitman, if he'd have turned in, there would have been an accident. So he, 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 he thought let, better of it. He thought better of it. Live to fight again. So De Costa, Van der Zand is in sixth place. Jean-Eric Bernet is in seventh. Nasser up to eighth. Huertas ninth. Rosenquist tenth. No movement. Mary moving through, though. And that was a long way back he came from. It was a great move, but just look how close he is to hitting the wall on the exit. Yeah, that was everything there. That was all he could do. Any more, and it would have been over. You really do slide through the S's. Now, the question is, has anybody managed to make any inroads on Mortara? Bartas really pushing hard now on this lap. And we're almost to the point where we're starting to head towards the halfway point. Well, we are at the halfway point, but uh, they're now starting to think about if there aren't any more cautions, it really is a sprint race to the end. It's a double-edged sword for all of them because they really want to push hard. But you know, you're, in, you're up 99%, aren't you now? Well, Mortar is gone, isn't he? He's broken the toe, and I think it's going to be Lawrence Van Thor that's going to come under pressure soon from, uh, from Bottas. Well, let's take a look. It was 1.2 seconds as we go on board with Motara past our commentary position. He does a 2.11.7. That's so, so impressive. And that's a very, very quick lap here at Macau. And he was quick in all the sectors, especially in sector two and three. And Mortara is taking them to it. And he wants to go into the history books, and he certainly started the right way as he heads into Lisboa. Great onboard shots to illustrate how he's fighting the car. But as he goes up San Francisco Hill, he's built a massive lead, over two seconds now in just two laps. I think it's actually Valtteri Bottas now on the move. He was half a second quicker than second place Lawrence Van Thor on that last lap. So I don't think it'll be too long before he'll be latching onto the back of him. Yeah, only Mortara and Bottas in the same kind of league in terms of time. Mary up to 12th now. Great onboard shots. You can see how bumpy it is. A lot of grip through this left hander now at the S's. But that's, of course, with the Mercedes engine compared to the signature boys racing for Prima Power. Only Webb 19, Lloyd 22nd. Pilato is moving up. And everybody watches and waits. Fastest lap, 2.11.7. That is so quick. He's been quicker in qualifying. Not much in the race. Did the best lap of 2.10.7 actually last year. But conditions were colder. I'd be surprised if he got down to that, but he's on line to it somewhere close. Another lap completed then. Mortara crosses the line. This time a 2.11.5. He is taking it to him. Another massively quick lap, but now the others are starting to get on level terms time-wise. Van Thor goes a 2.11.8, Botas 2.11.82. And it's just the top three on that kind of timing. Van Thor did his best lap. And it's uh, Roberto Mori now up to... Yeah, he's up to 11th. He's come right through. Great progress. Yep. He's the man on the move for sure. Five laps to go, though, and it's looking good at the moment. But a caution could change everything. And I'm sure that Edo, as he's known, 
Oh, the horse. Ooh, that was a moment for Van Dor. He was pushing a little too hard there as he came out of hospital. He may have ended up in hospital if he did not be careful. But, um, yeah, Edo has got to pray that there isn't another caution because he's got the gap that he needs now. But it could all change if the caution comes out. It's a question of how hard does he want to push now. Well, he's got a 2.3 second gap, so... I mean, yes, he needs to keep pushing, but he can actually control this lead now. But he's been in this uh, position before, hasn't he? 12 months ago. Yes. And won it, so he'll be the coolest driver out there at the minute. Yeah, there's a lot to be said for experience, especially at here at Macau, because a lot of guys get in this position and they start to twitch, start to wonder, and start to think about what I've just discussed, things like cautions like tyres going off and we've seen leaders just nudge the wall accidentally while pushing too hard getting a puncture getting out of line and it's uh, a precarious place for that now Vitaly Botas can he do anything from third place and stop the signature boys well that gap's definitely less now between second and third yeah it's come down a little bit but not enough I don't think Mutara crosses the line at 2.11.6. He doesn't improve, but he's still faster than those behind. Botas, though, did do a 2.11.9. He was just a little bit quicker than Van Tor on that lap. Whitman, his charge has dissipated someone. He did, someone, he did a 2.12.0. He needs to be quicker than that. And Merry continues to be quicker than the men in front of him. He's up to 10th now. He's got Huertas now in his sights and Rosenquist. Out of San Francisco. And up the hill they go. Sun starting to go down here in Macau. But not yet. On the quest for Eduardo Mortara. He just got engaged after winning the Euro Series. Did Mortara. And that was somewhat timely. And believe it or not, the last race of the season, the only one his future wife has ever been to. So, he's clearly on a high at the moment. Here's the Italian Swiss who lives in Geneva. He's also done one of the few things that any racing drivers never do, which is take a degree, just in case, as a backup. <laughs> just in case the, the dream doesn't come through. He's evidently taking a business degree. Good on him. But if he keeps uh, doing performances like this, he won't have to rely on that, will he? Yeah, but he'll need to. He'll, he'll need a business. He'll need a business degree to deal with the money. <laughs> this is a good lap though from Van Tor. But they're both very quick. Motara just did the fastest second sector. And even though Van Tor put in his best second sector, it wasn't as good as Motara's. Van Tor just a little bit quicker in the first sector. And let's see what they do this time as they cross the line. Still a large margin. They got 2.9 seconds between the two leaders. Vitaly Bola, Botas has done a 2.11.5. He's as quick as the men out there. And Whitman has now likewise dropped into the 2.11s. Field really spread out now. And I just wonder. Good battle starting to ensue now between. What looks like uh, De Costa and Van der Zand. So it's all stations the same at the moment anyway. And like I said, the caution could change that if it were to come. And the question is, how hard can Whitman push? Likewise, Botas and Van Tour. He won't want to settle for second place, but he also doesn't want to throw it in the wall. How would you play it, Danny, if you were a Van Tour right now? He's your teammate. You want to win the Macau Grand Prix. Well, nobody remembers who finishes second. That's the thing, isn't it? Yeah, that's so the truth. He's got nothing to lose and everything to fight for. Um, he was two tenths quicker than Mortara in sector one. So 
But it's not enough, is it? It's two tenths. No, two tenths is nothing. He's 2.9 seconds behind, so it needs to be a, a much bigger push than that. The other signature man, Marco Whitman, having a good day out at the races. He's been impressive all weekend long. Coming up to the second sector mark, 120.1 from Mortara, 120.6. Like you say, not enough. Botos just slightly quicker than the man in front, but again, it's only two tenths, and really the top three holding station now. Van der Zan looks as though he might have a problem. Across goes the line. Across the line goes Mortara. 2.11.5. The times really are fantastic at the moment. Bottas, Bottas is definitely catching. Gaps down to eight tenths now. So slowly but surely he's going to It is a case of slowly but surely. I mean, it's only a couple of tenths every time, but he is doing it. Now, I think the big worry for Matara is the possibility of back markers. Not long to go now, but still enough time were he to get into trouble of any sort. Roberto Murray's fight back continues. Yeah, up to ninth now, and he's got Rosenquist in his sights, and he's just a second behind him. But Bottas is the man most, most likely to change the way the status is at the moment. And he certainly intends to. He didn't come here to make up the numbers. He was fifth last year. He's got a test contract with Williams. He lives in Oxford at the moment, does the fin. But he wants to be king of Macau and he wants to steal Mortara's show. And this is the difference between them. Not much at all as we go on board with him. Up towards Moorish Hill. Right through there. Second gear, up to third. Fourth. Now, and then dropping it down again to second. Hard on the anchors again, into first gear, tight as you like, the tightest corner in motor racing. And that exit so important for the drive. And Danny, is he getting closer or not? I can't tell. Well, it's a game of cat and mouse. You can see under brake and he catches up, but then on the exit, he drops back again. But uh, this is certainly the closest he's been all race. And he wants to come out of this final corner, our bend now, as close as he possibly can, and then toe up behind him all the way down past Mandarin corner into Lisboa. So another lap completed. And the battle is on for third place. Mortara has a three second lead now. And with Van Thor and Bottas fighting now, that's even better news for Mortara with two laps remaining. Yeah, exactly. I think the concentration for Van Thor is just to keep his position and Bodas is going to try to change that as quickly as he can and look how close he is as they go into Lisboa again. Whitman is holding on to fourth. No change there between those chasing. Mary and Rosenquist are locked together in battle for a top eight finish. And really, you've got to ask the question, where could Botas make us mean? He can't do nothing here, really. And as you can see, he can't make any ground up on him. He's still quite some distance. And uh, if anything, Van Tor is pushing here, perhaps knowing that Botas is a little bit quicker on the straight. 